PAQ presents Full Metal Jackets. Welcome back to PAQ. For those of you who don't know, we are the most innovative fashion show, at least we try to be. Episodes drop every Thursday. Please subscribe, help us out a ton. Can you stop farting with your hands? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The BDY Wise has officially started last weekend. You've got two weeks to vote, so make sure you guys are voting. So we've actually got some mad content for you, man, at home. Today's episode is actually about military-inspired fits. So obviously, a lot of these brands these days are actually doing a lot of military-inspired stuff. If you look at brands like Elite, um, even if you look at a lot more kind of like streetwear, high-end brands like Yeezy and stuff, they take a lot of inspiration from the whole military aesthetic. Even right now, I'm wearing like a reptile camo, stony a, fit. It's because you're a snake. Even, even the hood is hard, like. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maharishi actually uses ex-military garments, so when you buy Maharishi pieces, you really? are buying, yeah, you are buying ex-military outfits. So like episode two, but for this episode with a military twist, we had to go to surplus stores or online, get our military fits, take them out, do army activities and put them to the test. The first part of the 24 hour army activities, we got put through an assault course, was a mad thing, got put through our paces. <laughs> Couple man got left behind, Couple man were hurt, couple man were bleeding. Joke. After that, tooth on scrutinise our outfits, they definitely didn't hold back. Where'd you get that outfit? Uh, Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> they gave us a map, they set us a mission, and we had to go and hike another mountain. Had a pacemaker from two to 14. Look. So after all that intensity, we had to set up a tent in the Welsh countryside. You could say it was in tent. Oh my god. So without further ado, PAQ presents Full Metal Jackets. PAQ. So unfortunately, a couple of days ago, I picked up an eye infection, as you can probably tell. And uh, I've been advised not to come on this trip because of like risk of further infections. I was a bit gutted, but... I've got a special guest for you instead. So, I'm Scott. I'm from Bad Canteen. Obviously, I'm not Danny. Sadly, he's not with us today. He's got pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Danny's given me an outfit I've never seen before. All I know is it's military inspired and I have to make it look cool. So obviously, military wear is something that's like, it's been on for ages, bro. And not only that, it's got so much influence on like a lot of high-end brands. We're actually going to put some military clothes to the test just to show you guys how steezy you can make it look. So let me talk you through my stuff before I chuck it on and why I chose it. But let's go firstly with the desert boots. The reason why I chose these is because they literally remind me of Kanye's um, boots from the Yeezy season. I kind of went for a more muted camo, kind of clean hoodie. On top of the hood, it's gonna be my mad military vest. I got the jungle bucket ting. Then what would this fit be without the Astro Shades fam? Come on. So to start off, I've got a gas mask. No face, no case. Have to keep the gloves, the beanie, got the zips, got the pockets. These boots are hard. I got this utility vest from Amazon, obviously super fire, bro. Man's got the black boots as well, fam. Kind of moving a bit like, like action man right now. Shout out to Director K. Man just called me black shit, man. It's obviously going to be very Danny inspired straight away. The only man in England that will wear forest camo braces. These, pretty standard. An Alpha Industries Parker coat. So far, I'm into this outfit. I'm not, oh. <sighs> Of course, Danny, of course. You can go to a regular store, get military bombs, and actually make it look sick. with the lads, really.
Good morning. So first thing we're going to do is get you warmed up. If you feel like you're going to pass out and die, keep it quiet to yourself. Left turn. Forwards. Um, have you ever had like fashion kids on, a, on an assault course before? Uh, nope. Up we go again. Keep going round. Oh, I thought this was a race, boys. Man just completed the London Marathon, 26.2 miles of filming. I feel like of every one of the boys today, I have pulled my weight the least. And I'm kind of like sad because I'm the most to prove today. So then we're running around doing warm ups and then we were doing push ups. And it was like, yo, you guys are going to keep doing push ups until Dexter hurries up and takes us off his jacket. The longer you take, the longer they're doing press ups for. Keep going. Dexter was taking long. Dex, hurry up, man. They're like, Dex, <laughs> hurry up, man. <laughs> I took longer than expected. Oh, Dex, why you take it? Yes, you can. Nice of you to join us, man. Maybe my highlight. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's still going up. Do you, know, do you know how he was holding it? He was holding it like this was the first time he went to like some mad bashment rave and he didn't know how to handle a girl whining on him, fam. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, <laughs> you tell your missus that as well? <laughs> Mate, I ain't got a I can't get up, sorry, that's not tonight. <laughs> Come on. Man was like... Man couldn't control the thing. Oh, these dark lines are not... Not the one. We're going to do tyre flex with six foot wall vault. In position, ready? Stand by. Go! Um, hope you're having fun. He's probably sitting at home right now, wrapped up. Playing Fortnite. Yeah, playing Fortnite. Or looking at memes on Facebook. Just don't look down. I looked at him at the top and I was like, oh, actually, this is kind of high still. But I've got a great shot, because he went first, and he's, you know, he's afraid of heights. Come on. That's it. Come Let's on, go. soldier. He was tackling it, got to the top. Bit shaky. That's it, man. Yeah. Amazing. That's it. Just loosen yourself. Yes. 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 Yo, the sandbag, actually, I'm not going to lie, I was out of breath. Grab a sandbag, whack it on your shoulder, and then follow on. Pump your legs up, drive your legs. I, I was carrying that sandbag, like losing balance. His shoes <laughs> coming off. <laughs> that was tiring. Dexter was having trouble. Every man was like, come on, you can do it. I feel like I've literally been a beefer, and I've just been out on, on he's, he's like me. Robbing a bank and that, you get me? Screw <laughs> Tom actually advised me to sit out. I was like, do you know what, I'm gonna try. Come on, Dex, oh, just that. Dex. When like, you see like your brother down here, you're thinking, oh, geez, like, I don't even know what to do, bro. But when I finished, Dex came back round. <laughs> Let's get it. And picked up another one that was a bit more suitable for him. And he continued running around. And then me and Tom went around with Dex to support him. <laughs> <laughs> this is a <giant>. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to tell myself, you know, I can, I can, I can. Woo! And I did. My well, man, you're a big man. That is, Mr. Aubergine, that's that it. That is inspiration, man. That is inspiration. You know, take a rest. What Dex is doing is Dex is inspiring so many people that are just like him with heart conditions as well, bro. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like Dex is the embodiment of so many people that feel like they can't do. And when Dexter does, those people feel like they can do as well. And I want to do whatever I can with my power to make sure that Dexter achieves that goal of inspiring other people. Across the battlefield. Mm -hmm. That's what PAQ is for, it's brotherhood, man. I'm not trying to tell you, but your fly's open. My <laughs> 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 house is broke. You know what? Bring on the next challenge, fam. A vague idea of what's next. So the next bit is, what's it called again? We're in a rush, we've got to go. We're on and tearing. Is that the right way? Orient it. Orient. So this morning we did an assault course, now we're out in the woods ready to go orienteering. And then later tonight, we are camping. Blair Witch Project, yeah. part two. The woods is gonna feel defeat. Cut to a so preview of Dexter crying in the woods. I will never cry in the woods. The woods, you gotta remember, 
We'll yeah, this is now. where life, yeah, before all the buildings, Mr. City Boy, yeah, there was this. Gentlemen, you're the four we're looking for. Yep. You don't want to mess with these man, fam. Can't even use their government names because, you know, like, bruv, they're, they're legit, bruv. Like. We're from the Special Forces Experience, TSFE, and we're going to put you through your paces. What's your name? Scott. Scott? Yeah. Yeah, Scott what? Oh, Scott Croft. Scott Croft. Yeah. What is that haircut all about? I don't know, man. I've been meaning to get a trim, mate, I'm not going to lie. Did you call me mate? Yeah, sorry yeah, about that. Yeah, call me staff. So, what's your haircut? It's just... Yeah. I am actually going to get a haircut. I have been meaning to do it, but I kind of was just randomly called to come to Wales out of the blue, so, you know, I didn't really have time. Shaquille Keith. Yeah. What's your nickname? Shaq. As in the one and only? Yeah. Man's not hot. This guy is so jokes. Where'd you get that outfit? Uh, Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> Sorry, I was just talking to you. <laughs> That man got part, not me, fam. Get me. All right, what's your name? Elias Riyadi. What, you an extra from Call of Duty or something? Being called something out of Call of Duty is kind of hard, I'm not going to lie. Modern Warfare 2 with the days, bro. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we'll see what sounds like when you're on top of that mountain now if you want to wear this <laughs> old tack vest and these stupid goggles up there. They just tore us down straight away. I don't know what the hell you've come as. All right, like, you look like you're about to go and burgle somewhere or rob a bank or something. What's your name? Militant Black is back. Is that nice and heavy for you? Yeah. Big Shaq. Big Shaq. You know when you're in year seven, you're in your first day of school, you don't know what to carry, so you carry your whole life. Literally. Right, get your packs on, gentlemen, and listen in, right? You can't even get your pack on and you want to survive on the mountain. <laughs> right, listen in, because this is quite serious now, all right? Fun aside, we are going to put you for your paces up here, OK? It's not going to be easy, OK? You're going to cover some of the highest peaks in South Wales. We've got a limited time frame to do that in. Just a word of advice for you, my day, first day out on this mountain, as I was walking up, they were bringing a body bag down, OK? People die up here. Do not take it lightly. If at any time you start to feel pain, start to feel faint, or don't want to do it, or bottle it, or want to jack, as we call it, you tell us, and we'll withdraw you. Roger that? Yeah, Roger, Roger, Roger that. Good. Right, any of you read the map? Vaguely. Vaguely? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? I'm You're too busy bloody hiding in hedges. We are going to go to a certain point on this map, which is just here. I want you to navigate us to that point. You receive all that? Yeah. Received. All right, take the map, decide where we're going to go, and we'll head off from there. Um, Navigation-wise, I think we've got it covered. Like, these boys chat enough waff to sound like they know what they're doing. There's water here, so there must be some kind of well, I think the river close. I say here are. is the closest water, water source. Can't say that that's the closest water source when we still don't know exactly where we are. I think we should get to higher ground. I think we should start yeah. moving before we dive hypothermia. Well, man's dare, innit? A man's got to get dare and dare and then back. Man, I thought he was Dora the Explorer, bro. If I'm Dora the Explorer, I don't even want to know what you are, bro. I've got the map, I'm saying, so I know where I'm going. I'll not get lost. I will not get lost. It's meant to be the one one. Oh, bro, this is going to be so easy. Can I be bothered? Right, look at the map. No, because I can't read the map. Right, can I be the backpack? The backpack? Yeah, Dora's got a backpack that talks to her. Oh, swear. Yeah, bro. You don't, you're saying all this, you don't even watch Dora. That's like, man's trying to pawn me, you don't even know who you're talking <laughs> about. That's mental. Educate yourself with the past, bro. Well, I don't need to learn about Dora, because I'm not Dora. Black Shin Man has this, fam. It's all good, you know what I'm saying? Man was built for this. Well, I think maybe we should go down that road. Shouldn't we? You sure? Yeah. Let me be honest, there wasn't that much going on at the start, innit? Um, Let's go. Yeah. Yo, you man. Yeah. We've got to cut across the river <laughs> and go up and continue walking straight. Now, nah, bro, it's actually bare. It's, it's calm. This route is calm, trust me. We couldn't see the path we was going to and just dropped into some gnarly lake. His boots got some okay grip. Low key, but one sec. Man needs to take a young breather. I kept stopping, I was like, Phew. Jeez. Tactical. Our checkpoint is basically at the foot of one of these mountain things. Yeah. You see the, you see where the two mountains dip? You know what's funny? It's called a windy gap. <laughs> <laughs> at one point, yeah, I ended up being so far ahead of these men on the pathway from, and I was just walking. At this point, I'm kicking into hyperdrive because we have to get to the windy gap. I had a windy gap once. It's when I ripped my trousers. Started picking up pace, and as we're going up the mountain, it starts getting more chaps. Like the wind starts slapping certain man down. I'm just doing this the whole time, just in this. I feel like we need to go to the top of this mountain yeah, soon, you know. That was a bit where we had to walk all the way up the hill. <sighs> nah, bro. These men call me flimsy, but 
Not gonna lie, some of them man was shaking in their boots. I was just like, oh, I feel like giving up, I feel like giving up. Dexter pushing on, you know, Dexter obviously has a heart condition, so I will allow him. And I had a Snickers in my pocket as well, which I offered him, but he didn't want it. I've got a Snickers or a Twix. Cool. But I kept telling myself out loud, I was like, do you know what, I can. I can. Don't let nothing stop you. Ever, fam. Literally. Fam. I'm afraid of heights, fam. I'm all the way up here, fam. Vex has got a heart issue, bro. I have to arch here. Although Shaq didn't want to go on the diving board part, but the guys were like, nah, the Shaq obviously needed a little helping hand, you know. Little cutie. <laughs> Jeez! Okay. There we go! <laughs> <laughs> he did it, he stood on the side of the diving board and was like, Meeks! <laughs> Bang a photo, Meeks! Got you. Dex has had a heart problem his whole life, yeah? He has a hole in his heart, fam, yeah? Watching him trek through that mountain. I've survived four operations, yeah? Had a pacemaker from 2 to 14. And look. I like, enjoyed myself, but now it's time to camp, time to rest up. Um, camping as a whole, I've always wanted to try, can't even front. I'm excited as well to get to know the boys better, more personal, you know, behind the scenes. This is the type of moment you're like, oh, I can't wait to go back to the log cabin, the fire, the hot chocolate. I ain't got nothing to go back to, but a, a, a dead tent. We interrupt this program to bring you this important <laughs> There is one thing we have to say and let you guys know is we've come up with a crazy concept for the maddest episode and without one person, the episode won't work. That one person is Tyler, the creator. We need you guys at home to comment on his most recent photo about collaborating with PAQ because without him, this episode won't be able to work. We will fly anywhere in the world to hit him up. Okay, cool. I'm about to comment under Tyler's photo. The first comment, we need to get his attention because this episode will be mad. Matting. Trust. I don't even know what my name is right now. Danny, right? I don't think any of us between us have ever really put up a tent. This is why I dropped out of scouts. Yeah. Putting it up, um, at first it was challenging, but I think we got the hang of it. Yeah, but the pegs go in first, that's what we need. Yeah, no, we don't know. Oh my god, oh, this is for the ground. Alright. Boys, little little cheat here, you can put the poles into this. You know the poles that like give the tent the structure? What? Do the poles first. After about seven hours of trial and error, I finally got the, the tent up. It was looking a bit crooked, a bit little jiggy jaggy. Done. Yeah, so we didn't really look at the instructions much. This goes in the bottom of that, and then science does the rest. <laughs> Elias, I don't know, man. Elias is just a flimsy youth, fam. <laughs> but the second we realised that, like, if we don't put this up, we are just sleeping out in the open. We got it done. Out here doing up Boy Scouts. Where my badges, fam? Yes, mate. Consider yourself Peggy. What are you, what are you talking about? I'm not. We're rehiring. We're getting some. We're getting some crew that don't mind getting their hands a bit dirty. Need to get rid of that old stuff. All I can say is, oh, I just want to go home. <laughs> this is this is not the type of life for me, man. Would I do it again? No. Well, I would after like two years of rest. Yeah. Man really needs to jump on his gym boys. I'm gonna say it six times and see if I've got abs. Gym boys, gym boys, gym boys, gym boys, gym boys, gym boys. So Danny's fit had some flaws, but it did kind of help towards the end. I think this coat really, really saved me in the night in the tent. Like I slept with this up all the way. At first I wasn't too sure because I was like, this doesn't look very like fashiony. But then when I saw my reflection at one point, I was like, do you know what, yeah? 
I don't even care. That's not even what I'm really trying to go for, anyways. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be as authentic as possible, bro. First of all, I was very, very happy of what it looked like. Obviously, I added that modern warfare, like future flex on it with the with the goggles. Looks wise, this tactical vest is live. It managed to fit a uh, flapjack, a Twix, and a Snickers. The boots. They were all right, but they started rubbing the back of my foot a bit. I think they're a bit too big. Trousers, they looked pretty sick, but they were from Amazon. The thing that held really well, I would say, was the, the pullover. So the boots came out of the box looking like the Yeezy desert boots, looking mad clean. Everyone was like, what are the Yeezys? And I was like, nah fam, like, these are Amazon 30 pound things, you get me? All you Instagram Donnies, I want to see you out here in the wilderness. I'm bougifying fashion. And I would say living your best life, but I'm not gonna lie, these last 24 hours have not been the best part of my life, so we're gonna skip past that phase. Danny. Thank you. <laughs> comment below what you think of this episode. Comment below what you think of the fits as well. Like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure your notifications are on. Episodes every Thursday. And if there's not an episode of Thursday, you get your money back. Boom. Also, it's free to subscribe, so even if you don't subscribe, Yeah, you actually you don't need your yeah. money back. There's no money involved. It's, it's, it's a free like, thing right here. But you just made a bold claim there. What? You send their money back. I said it after. I gave him a disclaimer <laughs> saying, fam, probably not, because I'm going to bought something. Right. This and that's probably round. you guys. Well, it's going well, for 24 hours, I'm no, done. No, yeah, shut up, in it, yeah. Right, let's go Scotland. Scotty, yeah, go try some new food, yeah? Yeah? I'm going to go and buy you a five-pound lasagna.